Okay, here we are, NAM 2012 at uh, the Cork booth, and uh, we're talking with Jeffrey Brown, and he's going to demonstrate uh, some of the new Chaos products here that uh, are new for uh, Korg in 2012. So we got some really exciting things here. They've scaled down these products considerably, fit in the palm of your hand like a smartphone, very ergonomic, all touch sensitive, all touch gestures. And the, the Chaos Litter 2 synthesizer. There's 150 sounds in here. They've added 50 sounds to the previous version. I can scroll through incrementally through the different patches and sounds, or I can zip through them very quickly with a ribbon controller. But what's really cool are the arpeggiators and the loop features they got built into these. I can set up an arpeggiated pattern, and I can loop that. That can be one loop, and I can add drum loops to another, another pattern. create a separate loop for that. So operate both loops independently. How many layers can you put up on that? Multiple. Can, as I, many as yeah. you want? The cool thing about it, though, is once I have those loops going, I can alternate the tempo in real time. The cool thing is if I like the patterns I come up with, I can store them on the new micro SD card slot. Ah, so you excellent. get you great ideas, you can store them right there. There's the bat you can run them on batteries, two batteries, or a power supply. But having the micro SD allows you to keep and capture your favorite ideas. Now it looks like when, when you designed this, you guys had the cell phone in mind. That I mean, it's it's a thing. It's an environment that so many people are familiar with now. Yeah. All the touch gestures. It's very very intuitive. It feels comfortable. It feels right at home. I can cross mix between those two. I can cross fade between the two separate loops. Also, there's a, a, an external speaker, so when I'm playing, if I'm in a car or in a hotel room with headphones, I come up with an idea I want to share with someone, I can pop it out and just listen right to the speaker here. It also has an external microphone, so I can capture sounds if I want to sing a melody, sing a vocal percussion part, someone's playing an instrument, I can capture that and put that into one of the loops. So I can add these. I can delete one loop, I can add a vocal part. Chord Chaos Later 2. Chaos Later 2. It's that easy. Now, so, I was just going to ask you, uh, how, how much memory do you have for dealing with that, or is that the SD card? The SD card's 32 gigs, the micro SD card, up, yeah. to, up to 32 gigs. Okay. So now, with, all, with 150 different sounds, I can capture these different loops, I can filter those, I'm going to go back and create my bass pattern again. Scratch. I can feed those into the chaos pad, and this is 100 different effects for processing, EQs, reverbs, delays, cutting and splicing, high pass filters, low pass filters. And you can see the physical layout is identical, same familiar environment. I can scroll through the, the, the different patches so one at a time or several at a time. Now in addition, this also has the micro SD card, so you don't necessarily have to have something feeding into this. You can download your own songs or sequences you're working on as MP3 files or WAV files drop them right in here and then manipulate those sounds. So I have some demo songs already in here. And I can filter those, I can process those with any of the filters.
final stops. This is my favorite one, the long stop. So they're great companions, they're great little, you know, I think of them as like, when the PDAs first came out, they were all the rage. Like I think of it as like a, P a PCA, like a personal creative assistant. They're great for ideas, for producers or DJs. They're great for musicians who want to work with sequences. They're great for people that are just getting into it. They want to learn about how these effects work. You know, what is a high pass filter? What is a flange? Or what is a phaser? What do they do? It's an easy way to access those. And you can have a lot of fun with the sequences and loops on the Chaos Later. I've been having a blast with these things all weekend. I bet. Well, those look pretty cool. And uh, what's the price on these? The street price will be one fifty nine on each of these. Okay, and they're they're going to be uh, out. They should be shipping April May. April May. Well, there you have it. A lot of fun on the subways. Wait for the bus. Wait for the train. There you got it. New from uh, Korg, twenty twelve Nam.